Hey people, today I'm going to be reacting to the video The Devil Never Wanted You To See Must Watch. <coughs> this is by Lion of Judah. I'd say great YouTuber to be honest, eh? Like, definitely something I'd recommend for you guys to watch. But anyways guys, I thank you for getting into my channel. If you're a Christian or not, doesn't matter. Enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Let go. There is an invisible enemy. And he is banking on the fact that you will forget that he is there. He's so... Mm, you banking on the fact that you forget he is there. That's the devil's trick on humanity, unfortunately. When you're enjoying yourself, fulfilling the desires of your flesh, you won't notice the influence that's behind you. He wants to disguise himself behind the tangible, <coughs> physical problems of your life that you will forget. He's often the one that is influencing some of the most difficult circumstances, not only in our nation, but in our own homes. Amen. That there is always something you cannot see controlling what you can. The enemy is scheming against you. Somebody say scheme. Scheme. Listen, if I find out that somebody has done me wrong, I mean, I'm upset, but I can get over that. Mm. But if I find out somebody has been planning to do me wrong, now that's a whole nother story. Amen. I find out you've been scheming against me. Mm. Meaning you've been sitting back studying my tendencies and my patterns. You've been watching for where I come and what I go. And you've been trying to take advantage of what my, the weaknesses of my flesh are. You've been looking. That's what the devil does. Takes advantage of the weaknesses of your flesh. Males. See, we have a lot of testosterone pumping into us. And we start to feel some type of way sometimes. <coughs> but God says we shouldn't like expose that side of ourselves unless we're with our wives. You know what I mean? But Satan is like, you're feeling like it. Why don't you just go ahead and do it? Why don't you go ahead and masturbate? Why don't you go ahead and watch porn? Why don't you go ahead and just <coughs> have sex with as many girls as you need, as many girls as you want? If this girl doesn't satisfy you enough, have sex with this girl. Like, and things like that. Or you're feeling down. Why not smoke some weed? Make yourself feel better. Why not get drunk? Why not do this, that, and the other? You know what I mean? Like, fam, really and truly, uh, this is a phone that you do not want to f associate yourself with. Looking into my personality to figure out what would be the best way to throw me off course when I find out that not only have you been studying me, but you've been studying my husband, trying to look into his history so that you can figure out, given my history and his history, the best way to make explosions of anger happen in our family. When I find out you've been trying to explore his weaknesses so that you can tempt him away from his heart <coughs> and his emotions being at home with me. When I find out that not only have you been studying me and my man, but you've been also looking into my three boys, these little men that the Lord has given me to raise in the fear of God. And you've been trying to figure out the best way to thwart them from reaching the destiny that God has assigned to them. You're trying to figure out the best Amen. way to take advantage of their fears and their weaknesses and their deficiencies. Do you know what the most dangerous thing God has given us is free will. So we have the choice whether to let the devil control us or not. Mm. When I find out you've been studying me and the people that I love, you better believe that now a holy indignation rises up on the inside of me. just gonna stand back and let you run roughshod over my family I'm not just gonna stand back and let my city decline continuously and just act like you are not there a uh, playing us for the fool I will be the one and I pray the church of Jesus Christ will Amen. be the one that will stand as gatekeepers in our community and say not today not on our watch and so if it's a war <coughs> the enemy wants it's a war he will have not Amen. by our strength and not in our power, but by the power of God's own spirit. The victory is already won. And we have the privilege to claim that victory and experience it as a regular part of our lives. So would you know everything that has happened this week, y'all? All the devastation and all the tears that have been cried, all the lives that have been lost under
underneath it all, it's not about officers and it's not about racial division. There is an enemy trying to stir up trouble. And if we turn our attention on each other, instead of pulling back the curtain and say, uh-huh, we got our eyes on you, and we're coming after you with weapons that work. Prayer is the weapon that God has given his children to wage war in the heavenlies. Church of Jesus Christ, stop whining about the attacks on your life by the prince of darkness and put on the whole armor of God in Ephesians 6. Attack and then attack again and then attack again and crush him and drive him out of your life because Satan is a defeated foe. Christ <coughs> has given you the keys of death, hell, and the grave. You are a child of God and the royal blood of heaven is flowing in your veins. You are destined to be more than a convert through Christ. Think like it, act like it, and talk like it every day of your life. Give him praise and glory in the house. I'm sorry about that, guys, but the passion in this man's voice is just getting me hyped. Listen to this and write it down if you can't remember it. You're never going to outgrow warfare. You simply must learn to fight. Amen. And when we say fight, we mean spiritually, not physically. I hear people <coughs> saying to me all the time, oh, when is it going to get easier? When you die. Warfare mm. is a normal New Testament Christian posture. Get used to it. Amen. 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 All right. <coughs> um, do we have enough space for one more? In fact, yeah. Hmm. Hmm, I might, uh, I might do one more. I might do one more, actually. Uh, are you guys ready? All right, we'll do one more. All right, deuce trees. God bless you guys and peace. Oh, one more.